It's time we finally answered a question that we see popping up on our social media and we have seen popping up on forum sites such as Reddit. And that question is, what really is the best way to farm engrams following the launch of the Taken King? And why is farming engrams important? Well, firstly, farming engrams is arguably the quickest way to level up your light level in Destiny following the launch of the Taken King. Engrams that you give to the Cryptarch have a higher chance of being a higher light level than the currently equipped gear than the random armor drops you may see in strikes or other activities. So now on to the testing phase. I played for exactly one hour in all of the activities listed on screen. To make sure this test was repeatable, I searched in all of these playlists by myself and made sure I wasn't just speedrunning to the bosses. I also played all of these events as a light level 285 Warlock without altering my gear at all throughout the testing stage. Again, this was just to make sure the test was fully repeatable. It's also worth noting I did not back out while playing the strike playlists to make sure that Vanguard bonus was active. So the first thing I decided to test for one hour was the most boring and uneventful thing I have ever done in Destiny. According to some YouTubers, you can boot up the new King's Fall raid and head into one of the side rooms right at the beginning of the raid. Because acolytes constantly spawn in this room, the theory was this is the brand new loot cave. However, after one hour of complete boredom, I had only managed to obtain three rare engrams, so yeah, do not try this one. Following the super slow paced action from the raid farm tactic, I decided it would be best to get some fast paced action in. So I headed to the court of Oryx and decided to go huge. I managed to use several tier 1 and tier 2 runes in my 1 hour limit. Now as I mentioned before, I was doing this without any form of pre-arranged group. But because the court of Oryx is designed to be a social point, I did bump into some teams now and then and we even took down a single tier 3 boss. This was by far the quickest way to get rare armor and weapons, but not so good on the engram front. I ended my Court of Oryx trip with 7 rare engrams, 25 armor pieces, 17 rare weapons, 2 ghost shells, and 1 legendary engram. But only one piece of the armor I obtained from the Court of Oryx was above light level 285. And oddly enough, none of the weapons were even close to 285, so it really wasn't worth it for the farming. Finally, on to our last PvE section for our research. I again ran for exactly one hour in the level 20, 36 and Heroic Strike playlists. And the results I got were kind of surprising, I guess. The level 20 strike easily rewarded the most engrams throughout my testing and these engrams actually decrypted into some level 295 plus gear, which is honestly really nice and the whole point of farming in my opinion. The level 36 strike was also relatively rewarding and I actually ended up with one legendary engram, but in terms of raw engram farm, the level 20 strike comes out on top. The heroic strike was honestly way slower than either of the other strike playlists. Now this could be because the enemies are harder to kill, or I just got really unlucky. But for pure engram farming and light level farming in strikes, I would 100% suggest just blitzing the level 20 strike playlist, and this is the way I managed to now have all three of my characters above light level 300. But before we go, we do have to talk Crucible. I am personally a huge Crucible player, and sadly the results of our findings are average at best. I managed to play 10 games of Rumble during my 1 hour time slot. I came first place in all 10 of those games, but all I managed to get in terms of loot was 3 rare engrams and some motes of light. So there you have it folks, if you want to get your farm on, head to the level 20 strike playlists. It's easier, it's quicker, it's more effective, that's all you need to do. Take care guys, until the next time, see you soon.